Me tell her, I say, she has plans to go to a foreign and a Canada she will hang up. I've never that. met this one before. Me is a spiritualist. A spiritualist is a person that sometimes they can see past, present, and futuristic events. A lot of people bring people to me and say, Father, tell this person something about himself. He's very sick and he can't sleep at night and so and so. And then say, I do it on him or so. And then me look at me and say, no, no do it not on him. People come and then carry back all the alix back full of worm. Those are the kind of things me do me ill people. Me wet up enough people in my yard all the while when they come and say, I want to do so and so, I want to mash up Sierra, I want to mash up Tom. I wet him up and run him out of my yard and say, I don't mash up people. I build people, I help people like that. God give me a gift to do. Me is not an obvious man. Me is a spiritualist. I have some people that say scientists. Why is it that they call your father? Because I'm an elder in the community mm -hmm. and everybody knows me as an elder and I treat everybody like my own children, some say grandfather, yeah, because I have a whole heap of grandchildren even though most of them are not around me. Mm -hmm. Most of them overseas. Some is in Canada, some is in England, some is in America. Mm -hmm. some, they, some is as far as Germany. Mm -hmm. I a, yeah, I have a granddaughter now, she's in, she's in Germany. She got to school over Netherlands and she lives in Munster, Germany, yeah? And me is a spiritualist. What is a spiritualist? I will give you a, a better definition. A spiritualist is a person that sometimes they can see past, present, and futuristic events mm -hmm. that is unfolding presently. Yeah. Just as I just told you a short while ago, and you can't deny, these are the things that I do. A lot of people bring people to me and say, Father, tell this person something about himself. He's very sick and he can't sleep at night and so and so. And then say, I do it on him or so. And then me look at me and say, no, no do it on him. He's diabetic, he have sugar. A lot of people rob people then way there, you know. Yeah. Tell them say, do it on him when not, no go, sir. Yeah. He's just sick otherwise, diabetic. Sometimes they have some bad fever, like, like here fever. When just a shake son, he says, Dopey the pan him and say, No, no, go, sir. I hear fever him out. So I just tell him in bush when he get beat up, put him on him bed and cover him up on him bed. Oh, okay. Get rid of it. Me also like a herbal physician. Me give people holistic medicines for various complaints. People come here, they have bad, people that call bad foot, sore foot. And I put on a plaster pan with some medicine and say, Go to my yard and don't make it come off. Come back tomorrow or maybe bus tonight and you see what come out of here. People come and then carry back all the alix back full of worm. You come out of them foot 17 years. One come and sit down, this one and I three this one, and put on a plaster on his foot and then go home and then come back three days time. He pick out about 20 odd worm out of his foot and say three years he's not sleep. Those are the kind of things I do me ill people. People have some big belly in front of them when I go down. I give them medicine for that. Carry down that flat, flat. People have pain and suffer for all kind of pain for all 20 or 30 years. And I take half hour and stop that. And so much I forgive your father. I say, just bless me up, man. Anything God lay upon your heart. Yeah? These are the kind of things I do. I wet up enough people in my yard all the while when they come and say, I want to do so and so, I want to mash up Sierra, I want to mash up Tom. I wet him up and run him out of my yard and say, I don't mash up people. I build people, I help people like that. God give me a gift to do. Me is not an obvious man. Me is a spiritualist. I have some people that say scientists. And what is your gift? My gift is to heal people and to help people to get through with things that seem impossible and hard to attain. That is what I do. What's the difference with an Obia man and a spiritualist? A Obia man is a man who work with dead man, bone and all that kind of something there. I don't do that. Because you can't mix evil and good. The fountain cannot bring bitter and sweet water at the same time. No. 
So you can't have God in that one and have Satan in that one. But, it is said, out of evil come forth good. You understand? So you can use spirit to help to bring out goodness. No sin no in that. But when I use him for do evil, for mash up people, kill people, them they are sin. You know, if you do that, cause you can't create, so why you try to destroy? Don't do that. So what are you led by? Well, I'm led by spiritual intuition, yes? And I have three things that I stand on daily, three principles in my life that guides me. Reason, meaning, and purpose. I know the reason why I am here today. I know what is the meaning of life, and I try to serve my purpose as a spiritualist. Outside of that, right, do you have a spiritual background? Did you come from a Christian home? Where did this just come from? Yes. This is a ancestral gift coming from my great-great-grandmother. Come right down to my grandmother, to my mother and my grandfather. My grandmother lived to be 103 years old. My grandfather died a few weeks before his 100th birthday. And my mother did way up 90, 90 odd, because cancer take her. And at the time I was in St. Thomas, they did call me and tell me where I go on. We could have cured her. Yeah, I mean, we cure for a lot of cancer. Bad stomach, ulcer, sinus. Because my grandmother is a maroon and my grandfather is a Indian. That entails that I have spiritual and and gifts from both sides. So the maroon, them know roots and herbs endless. And them hand down them to me then, show me them and then tell me what they're good for, when we can use them for and when we can use them. Because you have certain bush, you know. If you pick your boy, young people, you kill them. But you wait until so you see goat crap you and eat it. You pick young game, you can't do them because other times you pick poison. Spirit full of people come here say, you know, can't come in my yard. Mm -hmm. You put up things, bar him out of my yard and can't come in there. So you're able to send spirits? Send spirit? Or feel their presence or see of them? Of course you can feel them presence because right now if I'm there so, like you see like a cold bump there for me, and yeah. when spirit come around me, cold bump take me. Oh. I can feel them presence, you can see me dash the rum or something. Earlier I observed you pouring some of the rum yes. side by side. That is called libation. Libation, can you just yes. tell me what that Honoring is? Honoring of the ancestors. Old spirit them, you honor them. By that's why you see most dropping rum here and there. Honoring the ancestors, that is what is called libation. So are you in touch? You made mention that you're coming from a spiritual background and your ancestor mm -hmm. teaches certain things. Mm -hmm. Now, are you in touch with them in any way? Do they speak to you? Do you feel guided by them in any sense? They visit me from time to time. Okay. Visit me from time to time. They visit you from time to time, they tell you, they help you? Yes, they give me, they give me insight of things. Mm -hmm. I was going to a place one time and the spirit come to me in a vision and said to me, say, Father, don't go back there, don't drink nothing there. They might try to poison you. And two, somebody where I got a place, two me and somebody dead in a line. Mm. I mean, not do them nothing. I lift my hand and my face to God. One time I go out one yard, the spirit, then see a spirit, a stony house. And when I go there, I walk around the house and look. <laughs> and I laugh. And I say, for me come here, I not speak up. No spirit no around the house. Mm -hmm. I say, as somebody a trick on me because they want to run away to get the house and the place. And I see a man look for his wife. And he call her name. And he say, you know, I feel sad that man they are, are, are going to do foolishness. So I say, he say, but one spirit, one spirit come out the window and a crab the window. I said, you sure say that spirit? Mm -hmm. And he said, yes, because I hear him cry the window at night. I said, when the stone is dropped on the house, I want to come out at morning time. When you see any yeah, stone, he said, no. I said, all right, you want me to tell you what they do? I heist them up on the house. 
When you throw your Hispaniola and Japanese up, you melt up before daylight. So you can't see nothing like that. So most of the things when people are tell people what adopt you and it's a trick. That's why I say you can't people around me and the people are sick natural. I don't take no money and rob them. No. When I left the yard, my man said to him, Father, you know what I want to drink? He said, give me where you feel like, give me. And when I look away, I crab the window. I want cane with that, I want pipe set, I crab the window. So I said, cut that cane and give me. <laughs> 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 and I cut the, he cut the cane and give me and then tie up the cane. I said, I have a couple of days time, I called him, I said, is Spirit crab the window again? He said, no. Because yeah. I was phone, I said, is Spirit crab the window again? He said, no. I said, I can't crab the window again, because I can't crab the window, 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 I can't cr